So do fly lines colors actually matter? Uh, the first question we need to answer is can fish even see color? Uh, the answer to that is yes, they can see color and not quite as good as humans. Humans can see 14 times better and make out images 14 times better than a fish can. But they can still see, although it is a little bit blurry, and they can see colors. Uh, some of the same colors as us humans, red, green, blues. <clears throat> but how does this affect your fly line and are you spooking fish because of it? Does it matter or does it not? And the answer is yes. It does and it doesn't matter at the same time. So let's find out why. First of all, what matters more to a fish, more than color, is actually contrast. Uh, the contrast between the line and the background of what the fish is actually looking at. Uh, certain colors create more contrast than others. For example, uh, red and white, those contrast against pretty much any lighting conditions. Uh, the color black, uh, that's more specific and, and contrasts more with the darker or low light conditions. And then for muddy or, or green water, um, typically um, some of green colors and some other light green colors, those are what actually contrasts uh, with the water more um, as well. So if you're trying to avoid contrast, you want to stick away from those colors. And you want to look at colors that kind of blend in with the background. Um, so you're looking at lighter colors that won't create as much contrast in daylight as well as in low light. For example, uh, this is what I'm currently fishing with. It's Scientific Angler's um, Amplitude Line, uh, Trout Line. As you can see, it's kind of like a grayish color, grayish white color. Um, so it kind of matches in with those overcast days and as well as the sky. I didn't buy it for that reason. I just bought it because I love the line. It shoots really well, helps my casting. Uh, I'll leave the link to this in the description if you want to check this out. Highly recommend this line. Uh, it's a, it's a fantastic, as I, meant, as I mentioned, very easy to cast. Um, and you'll also see some other lines that are fluorescent colors, green, orange, red. Um, and these are easier, honestly, for the fishermen. That's what it's usually for. It's easier for them to see the actual line uh, as it's on the water. So if you prefer a color that, that you're able to easily see on the water or it helps you mend your lines as well, definitely go with that line. Um, it's definitely easier on the eyes. I know my father likes to do that. He likes to have a brighter color because it's easier for his eyes to see that on the water as well. So another thing to take in consideration when you're worrying about your fly line and if the fish can see it and if it's affecting you if you're spooking fish is the type of water that you're fishing. Uh, if you're fishing very like low, clear, clear water, the chance of a fish seeing that line is much higher, especially if the water's slow. The fish have more time to inspect and look around and it contrasts more with that water so they're able to see it. Um, for example, I'll fish the South Platte and those fish are very spooky. They see a lot of fishermen every single day. So any type of movement or any type of difference that they see in the water, it could easily spook that fish. Um, but for example, if you're fishing moving water or it's a bit tainted or a bit muddy, it's harder for the fish to make that out and actually see it. Uh, so it's, you don't really have to worry about it as much um, in, those, uh, in, in that sense. So let's talk about what might actually be causing those fish to spook because it's most likely not the color of your line. Uh, what actually could be causing these fish to spook is most likely your casting, your accuracy, uh, your false cast most importantly. Um, if you keep throwing some false casts over fish, they're gonna see the shadow of that fly line whipping back and forth. And if you see something whipping back and forth above your head, you're gonna wanna check to see what it is and the fish do the same thing. So if you're able to work on your accuracy and take less false cast, you're gonna spook a lot less fish. Um, and if you're fishing right, honestly, the fish should never even see your fly line. And they're gonna see that long leader and that long tippet that you tie onto that fly line, the clear nylon or fluorocarbon. They're gonna see that before they see your fly line, and that's clear, so you don't have to worry about it. Especially if you're fishing, fishing long leaders and long tippets, uh, where the fish are a lot more spooky, and doing your men's right as well. Again, the fish most likely won't even see your fly line. Uh, the only fish that will perhaps see it is the fish that you're fishing on top of that you didn't quite see or that you didn't know were actually there. So your fly line is really a lot less of a problem than you think, but if you're the type of person that wants to eliminate any chances of spooking fish and wants to increase your chances of catching fish, 
then you can worry about your fly line color to make sure it's a more neutral um, color that matches the background. And when I say background, I'm not talking about the color of the water per se, uh, because that's not what the fish sees. The fish is looking straight up at the water and what's the background of that water. Oftentimes it's blue sky, it's white clouds, or you might be fishing in a place that has a lot of greenery and willows and trees. So try to match your fly line to those colors, those neutral colors, the, um, the greens, the light blues. If you do that, uh, you'll most likely have less contrast. It'll blend in with the background more and the fish uh, will, won't see that fly line as much. But when it comes down to it, does your fly line matter? The color of your fly line matter, and the answer is uh, not really, uh, but the verdict is still out. You can make your decision based off this video. If you want to watch more fly fishing videos, please subscribe, like this video. On my channel, you're going to see some gear reviews. You're going to see some how-tos, some tips that I've learned um, as I fly fish, as I fly fish growing up. Um, so please subscribe, and we'll be producing more videos every week.